Welcome to part two of the 200 subscriber special. In part one of the 200 subscriber special, I talked about my past history on my channel, which is Tyler's Time Tunes and more, and how I got to be here today as a great content creator at 200 subscribers and counting. In this episode, we'll be talking about the future plans for my channel and what I think about doing and my progression throughout of time, as well as some sneak peeks and updates. Also, we'll have a vote in the comments section of this video, but more on that later. If you're new, welcome to the channel. If you don't know already, I just hit 200 subscribers just five minutes ago. It may not be a big deal to you or to a lot of people, but it is to me. Even though it doesn't seem like a big number compared to everybody else, it still shows the progression and work that I've put in, and also many other people put in when they get to 200 subscribers. So, make sure to stay tuned. If you haven't watched part one of my 200 subscriber special yet, go watch that now before you watch this video. First, let's go over some future plans and updates about my channel. Now that I've hit 200 subscribers, I'd like to share a special message to you. For the past few years now, I've been doing chapters throughout my progression of YouTube creating. For example, Tyler's Time to Do More Chapter 1 is when I first started out doing drum lessons, reading on Tuesdays, and gardening. Then I would expand to other topics, and that led me to why I'm here today. But the reading, the gardening, and the cooking, many other things, were the foundation of my whole channel. Once I was around the 100 subscriber mile, um, I began to like look at things, and I wanted to expand my topic and what's called a niche. I realized that many people enjoyed my videos more when I expanded topics. And that's when I started Tyler's Time to some more Chapter 2. Now, it sounds really dumb to say that, but once you really think about it, it really goes a long way. After I put out that little Chapter 2 trailer on my YouTube channel, I started expanding more. One video that really represents Chapter 2 of my channel is basically the one that I had the uh, world's like largest Nerf gun or something. And it was actually created by Nerf. It was not homemade. It was created by Nerf. And I, I forget what it was called. I think it was like the Nerf Elite Disruptor or something. And it shot 50 bullets with a big giant magazine under. And what I did was I set up a bench on two buckets. And I put in soda cans and like tin cans on the ledge. And I would shoot them with the Nerf bullets. Also, I made that thumbnail all by myself. That got a whole lot of views. So then, I did more stuff like that. And my editing skills got better as well. That's when I started actually using an editing software. I wasn't the best at it, but I could still insert music, pictures, or I could crop the screen to put in like, like a close-up action. I also learned during that period how to do transitions and all kinds of other stuff. Editing, like, intrigues viewers and you know it int intrigues them and persuades them to watch more and then that's when they you know find out oh i enjoy this person's videos or oh i don't enjoy these person this person's videos and that's how people started to come and visit my channel so now that i'm at 200 subscribers i want to take things a step further i know i've gone absurd now if you've seen my latest videos with editing skills those editing skills that I learned, uh, like it, I was able to learn new things, and now I'm able to make all kinds of stuff. I don't just make regular YouTube videos about me. I make stuff like, I make remixes of songs. It may not be the best idea, but I tried my best. And now I am an absolute master at editing. I also have a sense in my topics now. I finally found out what people like to watch nowadays, and I put that into action. Now, I use two editing softwares, and like, 
it's really, really crazy. So, I thought about it, and my editing skills, great. My video topics, I'm getting used to different ones, and I'm finding out new topics and, like, new things to try every single day. So, what's the big deal in taking it a step further, you ask? Well, today, as 200 subscribers is approaching my channel, I'd like to introduce you to Tyler's Time Tunes and More, Chapter 3. These videos will be even crazier than Chapter 2. And if you watch Chapter 1 and then Chapter 2, you'll see the progression just like that. You will be intrigued by these videos. Even my newest videos, you'll be intrigued. You'll like the stuff that I will post, most likely. If you don't, that's still fine. You know, people like what they like, and they don't like what they don't like. So still. But, for the sake of it, I suggest you look at my channel, you know, in these next few months, and um, hopefully we'll be able to work something out. And hopefully you can discover more of my channel and what I'm really based off of. Now, here's the thing. When I first started making videos on challenges, I didn't really have good editing skills. And the camera quality on my, f my old phone, horrible. Like, if you're watching me right now, this is my new phone. But my old phone was horrendous. Like, the video and the audio was off. So, I'd be like this. Ready? I'd be like this. Whoa, 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 before I reveal, make sure to hit the like button. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tyler's Time. It was just like that. It was just like... Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tyler's Time. Like, I, like, literally, it said something before I actually mouthed it. So, yeah, the video and the audio was, like, completely off track. And that wasn't really a good thing. Low camera quality equals bad videos. So now that I have good editing skills and good camera quality, and my phone doesn't make my voice all the way over here, while the quality, the like the video, is like five seconds after that, I'm going to start doing more challenges. For example, I did like last to leave the couch, I did last to leave my bedroom, which that was really hard. And yes, I ate food, don't worry. And none of those challenges affected my mental health. Now this is hopefully what I'm going to go for. I don't just want to do challenges all by myself. Instead, I want to collab with other creators. For example, I could do a challenge with Luca Gamble. I could do a challenge with Hunter. Hunter Rappenecker, which is fishing with Hunter. Or I could do a challenge with my own cousin, which is Roy. We've done a challenge before, but that was a very long time ago. So, I'm hoping to collab with other creators in order to kind of, like, get that type of, um, kind of challenge. So, that kind of topic. Also, I've been seeing, I seem to get a lot of vi uh, views on doing video games. And here's the thing about that. I couldn't do video games um, on my old phone because my old phone didn't have screen recording. Now I can screen record whenever I want. Well, except for I have a low battery. So, I uh, yeah, I got a new phone for Christmas and it looks kind of something like this. And um, it's really cool so I can screen record it. I can record me talking in it and I can record all kinds of stuff. So hopefully I'll do some more video games and YTP in the future. If you have any ideas on what I should do, um, like like a few um, hours ago I gave my friend Luca an idea, um, and it was to um, DM celebrities on Instagram, and he just started DMing people. Um, first person he did was Jordan Matter, so hopefully that goes well. Go ahead and check out his channel. He's at 200-something subscribers, so... So if you have any ideas, make sure to put them in the comment section, and maybe I'll do them. If it's a short thing, I'll do it in a YouTube short, but if it takes a while like to do like multiple things in one video, I will do a regular video. Also, one thing that I'm going to be doing, listen closely. 
So you know that brew on the radio guy? He looks kind of like this. Yeah. Well, he has people type in his comment section what to say when he goes live on TV. Like one time he said meow in one of his little things before the song started. And I'm like, huh, so that seems interesting. Now, I'm not going to, like, do a radio thing, no. But I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to make a video or YouTube short, and what you guys have to do is you have to put in ideas for something for me to say randomly, you know, out of nowhere in the comment section of any video on my channel or any YouTube short on my channel. Just say, you know, what you want me to say, like, something random, like, you know, say Taylor Swift in the very... Um, beginning of your video before you start the actual topic. So something like that. Just the only rule, the only rule. Do not, do not say, tell me to say anything inappropriate. Because that is not what this channel is all about. It's about having fun. Anyways, put your ideas in the comment section of a video or a YouTube short or on a community post. Make sure you check out some of my videos and make sure you subscribe. Finally, if you haven't left yet already, we're going to have the community vote. Basically, this vote is super easy. It's what you want to see on a video. So like video topics, um, video ideas, YouTube short ideas, meme ideas, um, like any kind of idea that you have out there. Just, you know, type it to me in the comment section and I will try my best to do that. Um, I will pick out the selections and you can type your idea in a community post, YouTube short, or a YouTube comment section on one of my videos. If you have a really, 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 really big YouTube idea, like about YouTube or something and blah, 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 you can email me here. For example, you can email me to ask me like, Oh, like, what are your video plans for the future? Or something useful like, oh, you should do a collab with Luca. Or, oh, you should call these celebrities. Or, oh, you should do this. And, oh, you should do that. So make sure to put the really, 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 like, big ideas um, in my email. And um, if you put anything, like, personal or, like, not cool, I will automatically delete your email. So make sure to put something necessary in there. Make sure to put, like... Good questions, not like, you know, questions for my personal information, but just good questions in general about my YouTube channel and updates for the future or video ideas that I could really uh, use some help on. Otherwise, your email will be deleted and blocked. And now a little trailer on Tyler's Time Tunes and More Chapter 3. See you later. Take it away. Yeah.